guys to step back and think about why we're here. You know, we are here to talk about ice cream in a context in which it was eaten long, long time ago. And imagine you were sitting at a royal banquet. You were in the royal family, let's say, of the Medicis. And presented to you was one of these banquet ice cream. These were often called ice cream bombs. And this was no easy task to get it to table. Ice cream and sorbets were a luxury. And to get such a fine thing, they, they figured, well, they might as well make it the nicest presentation imaginable, make it into art that's edible. Uh, not only make it taste good, but make it look good, too. So everyone should have a mold. Uh, we have a number of Star of Davids. We have uh, Santa Claus, footballs, wreaths, and some other fruit. We found that it was really helpful to spray the molds um, with coconut oil or olive oil. There will be ice cream at each of these four stations. At the stations, there will be dry ice as well. And so you pick the ice cream that you'd like. Typically, I would recommend one flavor per mold. It just gets a little messy when you have more than one, unless it's a big mold. This is called a spade, all right? And we've got other spades here, so if you have a really big mold, just feel free to grab one off the wall. No, don't do that. So you'll, you'll kind of uh, dollop a fair amount on there, and then, and then use the knife and shave it off to kind of flatten it out. Then I'm going to close it up, hold it like this, squeeze it out. You can see. Now this ice cream on top here is pretty soft, so it's moving pretty good. You can use the rags that are out to kind of wipe off the excess. Then you're going to bed it into the dry ice because you want the dry ice to cover the mold completely. You don't want to leave the top open and the bottom cold because it's going to uh, uh, mold inconsistently. So then we're going to leave it there. Basically, the thicker the mold, the longer it's going to take. So you might be looking more at seven or eight, ten minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the whole mold, put it in the water quickly, and then right out. Then I would take, it's going to still be cold in your hand, uh, keep the rag on it, and then with the knife, gently hit one of the uh, little pry points. So if you look at your mold, it's got little protrusions. Those are called pry points. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. A little bit at a time. Better get it soon, man. Okay. So after this, we try All right. So once the shape is complete, then you have the option to decorate. So you can take a little dry ice from one of the trays, uh, put it in one of these aluminum pans, and then come over to the decorating station, and we have some of uh, different primary and secondary colors for you. You can paint to your heart's content. And then after that, plates, spoon, I think you know how to do the rest. <laughs>